Hi everyone, this is Diana Palm, The Love Witch. And today I want to talk to you singles out there who are looking for love. So if that's you, then stay tuned. I'm gonna help you really amp up your love vibration so that you can attract true and authentic love. If you're not single, you are already married or coupled in a long-term relationship, then watch this video right here. Now, if you're single and looking for love, then I'm talking to you. And what I wanna ask you first is, would you date yourself? So really clear your head and get out of your ego instead of being defensive for yourself, trying to protect yourself or trying to project a certain image and truly feel the energy in your body when I ask you, would you date yourself? Would you be attracted to you? Would you think that you're an interesting person or that you have delightful energy to bring to any gathering? Would you find yourself as somebody who's following their dreams, living with their heart, living with their own personal integrity? Would you see these things in you? Would you feel attracted to the way that you're living your life and the way that you're showing up for yourself? So many times my clients are projecting what they want to manifest in another person as if it's going to up-level themselves. While you can attract Prince or Princess Charming and temporarily get that fix, eventually it's going to flatline because you haven't done the work. You haven't raised your own vibration. You've been actually dependent on somebody else bringing it to you. When you put all the focus back on yourself and really amplifying the love you have for yourself and how you show up for yourself, your vibration will emanate out and magnetize in appropriate love that lasts. And this is the only way to ensure that you actually bring in and attract your ideal counterpart. Somebody that really will adore you. Somebody that you mutually can adore back. Many of you may wonder, how do I start doing that? And you may start to actually sabotage by thinking about all the flaws in your life. You might even think, well, I would like myself better if I lost weight, if I had a smaller ass, or if I didn't drink, or if I had more stability, a better job, a nicer house. Take all of that off the table. Erase it from your mind. I want you to get out of that way of thinking about yourself where you're judging yourself, you're being critical of yourself, you're thinking you're not good or not worthy or that something has to change before you can be loved. Today is the day to begin loving yourself as you are. Not making excuses for yourself, but loving yourself in spite of whatever condition you're living in, whatever condition you currently created. Because the moment, the very moment you start really loving yourself, everything in your outside circumstances begins to change as well. It's just going to happen. It's one of those universal laws. By you increasing your love vibration and your appreciation for yourself, you will begin to shift the not so pleasant things that you've been experiencing about yourself. And therefore, you'll be able to show up in a stronger, more beautiful, more whole, more centered, more balanced, more loving energy. And that is the most attractive energy that you can be in. The key is don't make excuses for yourself by pointing fingers at your ex who screwed you over, your husband who walked out on you, your wife who took all your money. Don't blame your parents for being abusive, toxic, neglectful. Don't blame your past for the boss that fired you or the unfair people that you knew or the friend that stabbed you in the back. It doesn't matter. All of it is in the past. And right now, here in this moment, this is where you find yourself. And in this present moment, you can actually increase your love vibration by releasing the story, releasing the victimhood consciousness of everything that has occurred up until this moment in your life. Right here, right now, you can decide to be the co-creator of your future by shifting your focus away from past events. If you're considering all the past events that have piled up on you that were so unfair, 
that were so painful, that were so hurtful, you're putting that back into your field and creating your future from that. You're actually also attracting new partners into your life that are going to replay old patterns with you. If you truly, truly want new love, harmony, expansion, fulfillment, and satisfaction in a loving, supportive relationship, then you must change your energy. And you do this by changing your thoughts and by bringing love into your life, loving yourself, not because you made it through the hardship, just because you decided to love yourself today. I know it's tempting to tell people your hardship story because you can evoke a lot of empathy and support from them. But the more powerful thing to do is just to show up in peacefulness, just show up in love for yourself and be kind to yourself first and then others around you. And when you're showing up in this way, you don't need to explain where you've been, what you've lived through, or what you've overcome. Because right here and now in this moment, you're just loving yourself. You're valuing the experiences you've had that have made you who you are right now. But you don't have to go back and relive them or open the box from your past and unpack it for your new person. Because all that does is contaminate the new energy surrounding you and your new partner. Decide right here, right now, no matter what your past has looked like, to in this moment, just love yourself. No story attached, just love yourself. The best way you can do this is to accept how you are. And if there's things that you want to improve, begin taking steps today to make adjustments in your life. You don't have to go from zero to a hundred all in one day. It doesn't have to be radical because most people, when they change behavior like that, they go back, they revert because it's very hard to make adjustments in this manner. The most important thing for you to do is love yourself. Know that you're on a journey, that you're headed in the right direction. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to make excuses for yourself and you certainly don't have to blame anyone else for the way that you are showing up. So bring all your energy back to yourself right here, right now in this moment, and also begin to date yourself. And what that means is spend that extra time to get ready, spend that extra time to go out, go out to your favorite restaurant, order the best meal on the menu, order that cocktail that you love and enjoy yourself. Don't become dependent on the people in your sphere to go out with. Don't become dependent on the people that are already at the location in order for you to have a good time. Really date yourself. Nurture yourself by allowing you to take yourself on dates. Show up for yourself. Get used to that feeling of being delighted by a beautiful meal, beautiful surroundings. Take it all in and observe the places that your soul likes to spend time. If you like to have picnics, if you like to sit by the river, pack yourself a beautiful picnic and go sit by the river. When you're doing this, it's tempting to want to invite other people to be with you in that experience. This will actually diminish the ability for you to really get to know yourself and expand into who you're trying to become. So in the beginning stages of this, I would say date yourself first before crowding yourself with friends. Don't allow a friend to take the place of a partnership. Become your own partner first. And in this way, you'll actually attract to you really beautiful, authentic friendships and partners that last, that are really in the same vibration as your own healed self, instead of a bunch of people muddling through and keeping others in that energy. Once you've mastered the ability to date yourself and you take yourself out on dates and you travel alone and you're not afraid of your own company and you're taking good care of yourself because you love yourself, and you don't feel that whole need to explain yourself, make excuses, blame other people, blame your past, blame your childhood. You don't have to hold yourself hostage to any flaws that you perceive that you have now or in the past. Today is a new day where you can simply decide to show up in a different energy by making conscious choices, not using people for entertainment or to make you feel good or to make you feel happy, but actually giving that to yourself, 
allowing yourself to make you happy, showing up for yourself, dating yourself, and falling in love with yourself. When you can get there, your energy will be so dynamic and so powerful as a magnetic attraction tool that you will draw to yourself other people who are also vibrating in that self-love, that know that they have plenty to offer you, that know how to show up for themselves and have excess to share in a relationship. Let me know down in the comments where you're gonna take yourself on your first date, what you're gonna wear, what you're gonna eat, or how you're gonna spend valuable time with yourself to really, really nurture your own love vibration. Put that down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like down below, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I can't wait to see you in the next video.